about all of you stand up and come and stand over here, please. Yep. And here it comes. Today, we are going to be watching Pantaleons on Kitchen Nightmares. A Denver pizzeria is stuck in the past. Can Gordon Ramsay help bring this pizzeria to the future? Let's find out. Come on, Marty McFly. Let's get to the future. Great Scott. Several years, Chef Ramsay has traveled all across America. You are in denial. No. And encountered some memorable owners. <laughs> More like memorable boners. <laughs> Wake up! You wake up! One being more stubborn. I'm telling you one last time. Than the next. It was fresh through the day. They're not crap and they're delicious. Let me talk about my Kitchen Nightmares videos. They're not crap and they're delicious, okay? Fuck. Just taste my videos. Get out of my restaurant. Want me to go? I would love you to go. But tonight, on Kitchen Nightmares. Are you nuts? Completely. At an Italian restaurant in Denver. Denver's best pizza. There's a huge mistake on the awning. Chef Ramsay faces off against the most stubborn owner he has ever met. What the hell are you guys doing? Pete is clearly living in the past. Roads? Where we're going, we don't need roads. <laughs> Located just seven miles from the city center is Pantaleon's. Opened in 1985 by Pete and his wife, Paulette. Tom? Oh, come on, dude. Don't touch the fucking bell with your spatula. Come on. Then you're gonna probably gonna go flick pizza with it. Oh, I got an itch in my back. Let me go itch my back with it now. What else are you doing with that? Scratching your balls? I mean, I know it's just a bell, but... Ah, oh, come on, Pete. I'm from an island in Greece. And in that island in Greece, we have bells with spatulas. It's just what we do. When I first got to the U.S., I was a chef in another place, but I wanted to buy a place of my own because my pizza is the best in the whole world. Okay. A lot of people say this shit with their food, and then it ends up not being it, but, you know, I'll take your word for it, Paul. Pete. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can see it says Paulette is his wife, so I called him Paul. But his name's Pete. I'm Paulette. Pete and I own this, and we're married. When we first opened, we did have wonderful reviews. We just got award after award after award. My signature on the pizza. He signs the pizzas? He's like, <laughs> Pete was here. Signed, Pete. <laughs> my signature on the pizza is my cross. Back in the 90s, he was busy. But my grandfather thinks he's still in the 90s. I think my pizza is awesome. Pete is stuck in a time war. Well, I mean, I mean, to be fair, pizza hasn't changed that much since the 90s. So, like, what could he possibly be doing now that didn't work then? What, what worked then that isn't working now is what I meant. I don't know how the other thing said. Oh, boy. Have a slow lunch. We used to be back. Now, we have no customers. Modern day kids do not like pizza. I cannot pinpoint the reason. I've been telling Pete for years we need to change things, but he doesn't listen. Yeah, maybe, maybe like put some cheese in the crust or something. <laughs> I'm getting some bad feedback on your pizza. So what, what are you gonna do? My food is not the problem. I'm curious, I'm, I'm really curious what he thinks the problem is then, if he thinks it's not the food. My table's saying that it's too soggy, too soft on the dough. There's gotta be something else. Hmm. He doesn't know, but it's gotta be something else. Okay. Look at that. It's nasty. It's all grease and crust. Pantaleone's has the worst pizza in Denver. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> and that guy works there too, so fuck. My grandpa's pizza is like a white wall tire. It's mushy. Yeah. That's disgusting. Not one person said anything good about this pizza. Well, except for except for Pete. He goes, ah, for Pete's sake. God forbid, if you said anything about his pizza, forget it. He'll be like, ah, you don't know what you're talking about. That's pretty bad. Just shut up. Your veggie pizzas, they're a little soggy. Okay, quit, quit, win. I want to change things about the place, but my father shoots down every one of my ideas. It's ridiculous, man. This is your system. Really? Yeah, really. Just shut up. Just shut up. Stop telling me my pizzas are bad. Fucking cook some more pizza, dickhead. The restaurant does put a tremendous amount of stress on our family. We are just making ends meet. If it keeps up like this, I could see us shutting down in a year or so. If we don't get this restaurant going, we're gonna have to sell our home. We're gonna have to find jobs, and at our age, that is not gonna be easy. Maybe send Josh outside in like a little pizza costume and he can dance around. 
<laughs> maybe they'll draw on some people. And that's, you know, maybe he'll be on board for that because that's kind of an old thing to do. So maybe he'll like that. I don't know. We got to make it work or we got to get out of it. That's it. This restaurant has been my life for the last 28 years. I put everything in this place that I ever had. God, can you imagine how embarrassing it would be if you owned your own pizzeria and that closed down and then to, to support, like, to have a job still, you had to work at someone else's pizzeria? <laughs> that, like, you go work at Domino's or something, Little Caesars? If the restaurant fails, it will feel like my life was nothing. Well, surely Gordon Ramsay is going to save this place, right? Surely. Pantaleones. Wow. Denver's best pizza. That is a bold statement. That's, that's what I tried telling them. Hello. How are you? Hello. Nice to see you. Hey, Chef. I'm excited. I'm excited, uh, too. Denver's best pizza. That's a big statement. First name is? Paulette. You are the owner? Co-owner. Co-owner. With? Pete. Where it is? Pete. Notice she said Pete. She didn't say my husband. Oh, I co-own it with, um... With this guy, Pete. Where is Pete? That man over there. We, we're kind of buddies. We come on it together. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hello, chef. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Whereabouts in Italy from? I'm not Italian. Who said that I am? Greek. Oh, Greek. Got you now. Who's this? That's my son, I'm Josh. Josh. Josh, how are you, bud? Pleasure. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Good. Um, let's catch up with you and okay. Pete. Yeah? Okay. Where should we go? Uh, so we're right here, right. Okay. Shall we? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Everybody's, I mean, maybe it's just me, but I feel like a lot of these people, when they meet Gordon Ramsay, they kind of want to fuck him. I hope they don't make an ass out of themselves. One thing about Pete that I struggle with is his inability to change. It is absolutely hindering things. Um, so, do you have the best pizza in Denver? Nice. I do. Oh, thank you. Congratulations. When did you receive that? Day 85. So you've had the best pizza in right town on. since 1985. That's incredible. <laughs> I mean, we were told that in 1985. Why, does that not apply? Does that not apply anymore? I think I do. Well, actually, I don't think I do. I, I know I do. Where did you train? In New York. Now, there is a city with great pizzas. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But mine is better. Okay. I mean, it's the only pizza I eat, so, I mean, compared to everything else, it's the best pizza. You know who has great pizza? Little Caesars. That, <laughs> that may not be people's top choice, but fuck, it's good. Especially the next day. Especially the next day. Okay. Right. Okay, great. And you opened in 1985. March 10th of 85, it was Monday, we opened up. You know your dates well for an old boy. An old boy? You know, an old boy is it like a charming old man. An old boy? Who the fuck you calling an old boy? <laughs> Hold my fucking earrings, babe. How hands-on is this one? Completely. Com completely. Still? What? Seven days a week? Uh, no. We're closed two days. You close two days a week? Uh, Sunday, Monday are closed. Uh, and why are you close on Sunday? Sunday? Because yeah. I want to watch football. I got a really good TV show that I gotta watch, so, you know, we have to be closed. <laughs> We're closed on Saturdays because I'm watching Doctor Who, so. Are you nuts? Do you have any idea how many pizzas get ordered on a Sunday just in football season? We did open that Sunday in 86. Congratulations. We were open Sunday about 20 years ago, and, you know, it just no one cared. So ever since then, I just stay home. That is crazy, though, to base everything off of just one year, 20, 20 years in the past. Just like, oh, well, it did work back in 85, so it just it can't work now. At 86. <laughs> <laughs> so how has that affected the business? Closed two days a week, Sunday, Monday? Nobody knows who we're open. I mean, we're closed in the afternoon. The restaurant closes? Seriously? Because sure. he has to have his nap. Yes, have his what? What, you don't take naps in the middle of the workday? You work about two hours, you take a little nip-nap, then you work a couple more hours, you take a little nip-nap. It's great for your mental health. Although, why can't someone else work? Why can't they work in shifts? Does everybody go take a nap at the same time, or does only Pete get to take a nap? Nap, nap. siesta, sleep. That's kind of a European thing that, you know, the siesta deal. Russian closes because Pete wants a nap. Yeah, like they do in Greece. In England, too. No, no, we don't close no, the afternoon. Do that. No, no. Did you do any delivery? Mm, no. We tried delivery back in 85, but just like no one did it, so we thought it was a waste of gas. <laughs> Plus, none of us here have a driver's license, so. <laughs> wow. 
Yes. Plus, there's another problem. The other things, you don't listen to anyone. I mean, you don't listen to me. It's like if he starts doing something one way, you can't get him off of it. She's a princess and controlling. She's a fucking nagging bitch. What can I say? I mean, all she does is nag, 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 nag. Ask me to do things different. That a fucking. She says it's not 1985 anymore. I don't know what she's talking about. Mm -mm. How old is Josh? 33. And he must be geared up now to take over the business when you take a back seat somewhere. Well, in terms of what's the plan? Is he the head chef now? No. No. He's no. still here. As long as I'm in here, I am. Okay. We're talking about pizzas, right? Denver's best pizza. <laughs> what the heck you laughing about? <laughs> Gordon Ramsay wasn't here. I'd fucking be punching you in the fucking face. What are you laughing at? Oh, fucking bitch. <laughs> you believe this fucking bitch, Gordon? Unbelievable. I'd expect Josh by now. Yes. Literally five or six years at the helm. Why can't you let go? I don't know. Where do you think you're going to let go? Who knows? For the last two years, two I've years. seen it on a downhill Dick slide. Line. And now, like a Tuesday night, I might have two tables. Two tables? I've two seen tables. it with no tables. Wow. Nearly 30 years of business. Have you put money away? No. No. No, we actually, fuck, we actually never thought of that. God damn it, we should have been putting money away. Fucking Pete, you little bitch. You can't retire. No. We got into trouble. We refinanced our home two or three times. This is crazy. Mm -hmm. That's what I feel like. Wow. So, I'm gonna get up to speed uh, with the food. I'm dying to taste that pizza. I'm dying to know how that pizza tastes, Gordon. You better describe it well. But I got a feeling it's gonna be shit. Uh, I know it's late in the afternoon, but are you, uh, are you going for a nap or are you with us? <laughs> he's staying. Oh, he's staying, okay. Just he's staying. <laughs> you gotta go to bed real quick, baby, and then afterwards you're gonna come, you gotta have pizza with me? Hmm? Is that what you're gonna do? You gotta go to bed, Pete. Okay. Okay, good. I, I didn't know if it was... <laughs> oh, nap time. <laughs> hey, when you go, when you do go take a nap, though, I'll tuck you in, okay? I promise. Paulette well, always nags me. She thinks she knows everything, which she doesn't. How'd it go? She didn't let me show you one word. Josh, come around, but let's catch up. Because I've done it for 37 years. I think I know what I'm doing. I mean, I fucking hope so. If you're making pizzas for 37 years, you better fucking know what you're doing making a pizza. That better be Denver's best pizza. Fucking Jesus Christ, dude. I didn't realize things were that tough for mom and dad. It's actually gotten to a point where I'm, I'm embarrassed of the place. Right. I didn't. Change is the biggest problem. You're happy with the pizzas? Um, no. Wait, so he's saying they're not Denver's best pizza? Excuse me? Wow. So the bad. Oh, absolutely. It sounds like a very stubborn man. Yeah, I have a lot more ideas. Has he started to pass the reins yeah. over on him? No, seriously, no, no. Honestly, Gordon, like, we might have to put a hitman on him to get rid of him. That might be the only way, honestly. So, I know a guy if you if you're okay with that, if, if the show will let us do that. But like, yeah, that would be like really crazy to do. So I, I get it if you don't want to. Absolutely. Why is that? I don't know what's gonna make him, if ever. It's always been three more years, three more years. It's but, crazy. Yeah, it is. It's been really crazy. Coming up. Holy Isn't that ridiculous? Chef Ramsey begins his research. Oh, finally, we're gonna try this fucking pizza. Let's go. You won't believe how stubborn Pete really is. It was the worst pizza in Denver. I disagree with you. So stubborn. I may even leave. You know, if, if some of these people just watched this show, if they all have the same fucking problems. It would, it would just make everything a lot easier for them. Wife Paulette and son Josh feel that the restaurant is stuck in the past while Pete feels there is absolutely nothing wrong with his food. It's time for Chef Ramsay to find out for himself. Let me know in the comment section down below, what's your pizza of choice? <laughs> me? I love fucking, I love all kinds of pizza, but I love a Supreme, fucking barbecue chicken, obviously a pepperoni. What do you like? I'm okay with pineapple on ham, but I, it wouldn't be my first choice. My God, look at the dining room. I mean, he's got as much atmosphere in here as it is in the hospital room. I mean, it is sad. Here's this, Pete. Okie dokie. Okie dokie, here's the order, okie dokie. <laughs> okay. I'm not nervous for Chef Ramsay to taste my food. Let's do this. Well, let's put it this way. He's gonna go to heaven. The pizza's so good he's gonna go to heaven, or you're gonna pour- This has been your ploy to kill Gordon Ramsay today, is put poison in his pizza. He's gonna put a snake in the pizza, and when Gordon Ramsay goes to take a bite of the pizza, the snake's gonna come out, bite his face, and he's gonna get poisoned. 
How is it? The meatball sandwich? The meatballs, I've had that at cat food. Ready? This is the fucking customers they get in here. It's like, well, this is good, but you know, I guess it is better than cat food. Like, it's not amazing. I have had cat food. That's kind of better than this, but it's c better than most cat food for sure. I want to know where the f you were eating cat food. Long story. That dude's definitely been on drugs and like fucking just ate a bunch of cat food and didn't realize it. Paulette. Yep. What the fuck is up with that clown? Hey, we like to spook people here where they eat pizza. You know, it's just kind of fun. What is that behind your head? That's a hologram. Freaking me out. You know what a lot of people are afraid of that? That's a clown. Oh, gosh. That, it's just like this stuff in there is so random. Oh, yeah, let's just, we're going to have it look like a normal diner. And then right over here, we're going to have a hologram clown that just scares kids. That's what we're going to have. Over here, over here, we're going to have the hologram Tupac. That's next week. How long has that been up there? Oh. Probably about 15 years. So whose idea was that? That's spooky. That's mine. <laughs> oh my god. How's the cars on? Blood. Really? Blood's done. Get it out. No, it's not. I just checked it. It's Don't done. Worry. It's done. I this just is checked it like two seconds ago. It's gonna burn in bottom. Get it out. That's pretty bad. It's disgusting. That's disgusting. <laughs> What are they saying was disgusting about it? Like, was it getting burned? Uh, Bolivia. Perfect. Let's go. Chef's calzone. Yeehaw. Oh, boy. I got a bad feeling about this. Okay, Jeez. here's Pete's calzone. Do I look like one of the Denver Broncos that I can eat this thing? <laughs> it looks huge. <laughs> You know, I don't know how much pizza dough and shit cost, but maybe they could save some money fucking making smaller calzones. Maybe they make two big pizzas and shit. Maybe, maybe it's time to scale back. What he's doing, these portions, I mean, they're hideous. How much filling does he put in there? Our calzones, our calzones are kind of like a glorified Hot Pocket, right? With like, the, just the pizza in there, kind of, you know? Raw onion. Paulette. Yes. How much is he putting in there? Look at all that pepperoni. I mean, the slices are still jammed together. <laughs> and he just pulling them out of the fucking bag, throw them in there. He was <laughs> didn't even try to do like organize it or anything. Just like, all right, this is for Gordon. Here's the cheese, here's the pepperoni. Just get all this in there. Yeah. I've never seen a calzone so full. I mean, the filling's cold. That is hideous. I don't like that either. I've been wanting to take that calzone and fling it like a frisbee for about 20 years. Pete, I got some critiques for you. Uh, are, you are you kidding me? Listen really? to me, damn it. The complaint is it's so full, it's cold. Shut up. Jesus, it's like, come on. How, how, how does he not realize it's that bad? Like, does he not actually eat them? Are you, what, he doesn't like my calzones? What, he said the fucking onions were raw and maybe it was a little cold, hmm? Is that what he said? Shut up, Gordon, what do you know about food? I bet you've never made anything in your life. See, perfect. I put my pizza up against anybody in the country. No, in Denver or Colorado, in the country. That's how confident I am about my pizza. Okay, just from right there, though. It looks a little gooey. Maybe if it like I don't know how hard the 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 the, the dough is, but that doesn't look that bad. That looks pretty yummy actually. Okay, here we go. Here's your sausage pizza. Holy. Isn't that ridiculous? I don't, like seriously, like scale back some. Why are they making him This looks like it took an entire staff of people to make this pizza. But fuck, if this was a good pizza, that'd be great. It's like the pizza that ate Denver. Yeah. Okay. I'll let you take that in. Thank you. Man. Oh my god. Trepid in grease. Yeah, that is that is a sign though of a horrible pizza. When you could just when it's just falling everything off of it as you go to take one bite, it's not a great sign. The grease coming out of that. Oil in there, look at the grease. That's gross. He said it's too greasy, just exactly what I, I feel. Oh, shut up. Oh, shut up. You guys don't even know. There's barely any grease on there. God. You know what? Fuck you guys. I'm going to podcast land. Honestly, the best pizza in Denver? I mean, does that look like the best pizza? 
No, I think I've, I've microwaved pizza. It's way better than this. Trust me, I can tell you, it doesn't taste good. So let's do it. The dough is so thick. Why? I mean, it's just like a loaf of bread. It's like a baguette in there. Mm -hmm. That's our thin crust. Wow. So it it actually gets bigger than that. That's kind of crazy. That's the thin crust. Mm -hmm. Stop. <laughs> wow. Seriously? Yeah, a lot of people get upset with me for that when they ask for the thin crust, and I bring them the thin crust. Wow. Did you touch that? The dough is raw. Oh, wow, it is. It's raw pastry. My god, what a mess. Darling, I'm done. Alrighty. Uh, dreadful. Okay, I'll let him know. Messy. Okay, I'll let him know. Um, um, Pete, he said it's dreadful and messy. And the dough was raw. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That is definitely not the best pizza in Denver. Let's get that right. Hey, Pete, he wanted me to show you the uh, dough. What's wrong with that pizza? He said the Let pizza was doughy on the inside and greasy. It is doughy, look. Really? I agree with him, too. Are you kidding me? I don't know what the chef is talking about, and a lot of people love it. I do. I eat it. That is funny. Everybody around him is touching it, and they're like, yeah, fuck, that is really doughy. And he's like, what do you mean? That's so really hard. Get, get, get a different finger in here. Try it. Th no, well, you still feel doughy? I don't understand. I'm so, I, My fingers are feeling things that your fingers are not. It feels hard to me, I swear. I like, too, how when they showed it as well, there's just a fly flying off the food at the same fucking time. Oh, is he going to eat it? I'm hungry. I think Chef Ramsay's problem is that he hasn't tasted a classic pizza before. No, I think this guy just has low standards for pizza, honestly. You know, he's collected a palate, and I've uh, been eating shitty pizza my whole life, so I just don't trust his palate. He's tasted all this fancy stuff, you know. Okay, here we go. The Meatball Hero. The Meatball Hero. What a name. Wow. And how do you... How would you... Oh, God. Here we go. Him fucking teasing his food again. He's gonna be like... Ugh. Uh, what do I do? Oh, this just looks like I'm sucking dick. Uh, I guess I'm done. Um, Ugh. I guess you approach that however you feel. Wow. Thank you, my darling. No problem. Just visually. There's nothing hero looking about that. God. Mm. That's not anywhere near a hero sandwich. That looks more like a sloppy joe. Okay, Gordon, but sloppy joes are fucking delicious. So if you got, if, if you thought you were getting a fucking meatball sub and you got a sloppy joe, that would be a good surprise for me. It's all soggy there. It's like eating a patch of soaking wet grass after a cow all over it. You're all done with that. That is definitely not a hero. Yeah, disgusting. Oh, there's a typo error on the menu. It's not hero, it's zero. I'll let him know. Please. I do love when he's like, you tell, you, you tell them this fucking thing that I, I just thought, it's pretty clever, I thought about it in my head re earlier. I was reading it and I was like, oh, this is not a hero, this is a zero. You go tell him that. And then she has to actually go walk back into the kitchen and say, um, chef, he said this is a zero, not a hero. <laughs> I love that they have to go back and tell him. Do you want to hear chef's response? Yes. Yes, he said yeah. it's a zero, not a hero. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. This is, that was at least a 2.5. I have plenty of people that they love my meatballs. I am very proud of my meatballs. Oh, come on. Every guy's proud of his meatballs. Come on, Pete. Josh, what are you doing, Josh? Let the, let the garlic roast. Roast you. God, that would get fucking annoying. Just some backdoor chefing you the entire time, and especially it being your dad. Whack you over the head with this damn thing. Let it get really hot before you put them in. Is this the first time I've done this? I don't agree at all with serving anything out of a can. Gordon Ramsay's gonna know right away too that that's from a can. He's gonna go. He's gonna know right away. It'd be hilarious if he's like, "Oh my god, this is fucking amazing," and like he is, <laughs> he has no clue it's from a can. Here's the linguine. Wow, wow, wow. Thank you. No problem. Mm. Damn. I mean, that is absolutely dreadful. The seasoning, bland, like a plate of hospital food. I mean, it's just so unappetizing. Look at that. Excess water. I mean, that is disgusting. It's me emptying out my ramen before I <laughs> put the powder in. <laughs> Anybody else do that? If I, when you make ramen, do you keep the water in and pour the packet in, or do you pour most of the water out and then pour the flavor packet in? I like to have most of the water gone. Man. 
How's it going? It looks like Pete's in my pasta. That's bad. Or if you could see what he was doing right now. That would be kind of scary if you walked up and you're like, oh, if you could only see what Gordon Ramsay's doing right now. He, like, is putting each noodle into his own asshole. <laughs> and they're like, oh, don't come around here. You don't want to see what Gordon Ramsay's doing. He is taking playing with your food to a whole nother level. Ugh. Come on, Gordon, take a shot of it. Drink it all right now. Come on, I'll give you a dollar. Are you all done with that? Yeah. Thank you, Diane. No problem. And that's like one of the worst urine samples you could ever give. <laughs> oh, gross. Thank you. Horrible. Hey, Joshua. What did he say? He was very, very not happy with that. There were a lot of comments. It's ridiculous. This is not the ridiculous video, okay? This isn't ridiculous. It didn't even make the cut on Kitchen Nightmares Ridiculous, pal. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch my, <laughs> my Kitchen Nightmares Ridiculous video. And right now, the only person in here that's happy is that stupid clown on the wall. I bet you when he redecorates here, he gets rid of that fucking clown. <sighs> that was bad. You gotta take it, man. You gotta have to take it. There's a reason this place isn't doing good right now. I do really hope maybe they let the son take, because the son seems to have a good head on his shoulders like about this whole thing. The dad is just fucking a loose cannon, so hopefully they let him take over. But I, I highly doubt this is gonna work out. Let's come around. Okay. 37 years since I came in this country, I've been working in the kitchens, and I know what I'm doing. I fucking, I know how to make a pizza, okay? God. Uh, I don't know what to say. My first time in Denver, and quite possibly one of the worst experiences I've ever had. First of all, the clams were dreadful. I disagree with you. Seriously? Yes. Have you any idea how bad that tasted? It's how he's made it for years and years. Well, they canned. Yeah, yeah. Why is he, he's defending stuff, something from a can though. Why can't you be like, okay, well, that makes sense. We didn't even make it, that's from a can. So I guess I could take that criticism. He's even like, what? What the fuck do you mean? Those are delicious. I love my cans. See, I fucking knew Gordon Ramsay would be able to tell that I knew it. Why are you lying to me? I'm not lying. You mentioned on the menu that everything's fresh and homemade like Mama did. It's always fresh made. I don't think the ingredients are quite as, as fresh anymore. Hmm. Sounds like not everything's exactly how it was 35 years ago. Now was it? And then the big disaster. My sausage pizza. It was dripping in grease. The dough was so thick, parts of it were undercooked. I disagree with you about my dough. I think I have a great dog. Really? Yes, sir. This was a thin crust. Yes, sir. I mean, you need to go and get your eyes tested, because that was not a thin crust. I am disagreeing with you. I have We are not in pizza. 1985, Pete. <laughs> I am disagreeing with you. That crust was thin. Wait until you see our large crust. <laughs> you think that was undercooked? Wait till you see the big one. Do you think that your father is serving the best pizza in Denver? Not anymore. And do you think your husband is selling the best pizza in Denver? No, I don't. You know, there's a huge mistake on the awning. Because I think you just cooked me the worst pizza in Denver. Oh, although, hey, although that could be a good selling point. If there was a place that was selling itself as this is the worst pizza in the world, I would try it. <laughs> I don't know how many other people would, but I would certainly try it. I disagree with you. Can I have two minutes on my own? Would you mind? Not at all. Oh, fuck. They're gonna fuck. They're gonna battle to the death. Oh, God. Get out the boxing gloves. Pete is extremely set in his ways, but he's got to listen to somebody or we're not gonna make it. You know what? He needs this. No, he's right on every damn he thing is he right. said. Pete, you're in denial. That's the problem. You cannot just continue going through this system of failure that you're just, you're not getting anywhere. You're just going further and further backwards. And it's not making anybody happy. It's not giving your wife and your, your family a bit of freedom. It's just feeding your ego. I don't know what to say. You're sinking. <laughs> You're taking everybody else on the boat with you. No, I'm not. No, I'm not sinking. How about that? <laughs> 
I'm not. This this business is doing good, Gordon. You just everything you've seen that's been fabricated. We're we're, we're lying to you, actually. I mean, and what's crazy is we know he believes it too, because he ate Gordon. He ate the rest of Gordon's pizza like a little freak. So he really does fucking. He loves this fucking pizza. The pizza is not good. I'm still gonna disagree with you. I really will. I'm sorry, but I am. I need some fresh air. Okay, sir. Me. Man. I don't think I'm doing anything wrong. Stop on. I've been doing this for 37 years. Seth Ramsey was a kid when I first started cooking. I should know a little bit more than he does. Hey, does anybody think he's been doing this for 37 years? Just curious. <laughs> This fucker brings that up at every chance he gets. He's like, I've been doing this for 37 years. Man, woof. I've been cooking pizza for a long time. 37 years, if you didn't know. Okay, pizza boy. I don't see it called Pete's Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> he's right on everything he said. Everything he said, he's right. The pizza, even. I've been telling you, everything that he told you, I've been saying the same though. I said, what? pipe the crust down. It's too much. Give me does it take him to tell you that, to actually listen, or what? It's ridiculous. The food is It really is. What are you, crying? What are you, crying, you little bitch? <laughs> oh, you think our pizza's that bad, you're gonna cry about it? Why are you crying? It's frustrating. I did the best I could over the years. It's not good enough anymore. Damn, that's fucking sad. Doing the best he could is not enough anymore. I'm coming out for a minute. I don't know. You know what? I realized that, that it was like this for many, many years. This is kind of fun. We never get to see them just like out on a smoke break chit chatting. And I've been nagging and screaming and carrying on. This place either changes or you lock the doors. Oh, I, I'm done. If you don't change and do what he says, you'll never see me in this place again, and I don't give two flying you know what. <laughs> yeah, you fucking tell him, honey. What happens to everything I own? You'll be here by yourself. Everybody calm yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, calm down, right? Yeah. I don't think that I need to change. But I... But it's not working, and you can see that. What the fuck? Come on, Pete. Like, fucking be a real person. I know what I'm doing. Joshua and Paulette do not understand about running this place. I got more experience than they both have been put together. Man, this kitchen really is a nightmare. <laughs> After seeing how stubborn Pete was about his food, the pizza is not good. I'm still going to disagree with you. And his claim that he has the best pizza in the city... Chef Ramsay knew he had to do something to finally get through to him. Oh, oh yeah, fucking make him taste other pizza. And don't tell him which one's his, please. Oh, I fucking love this. We're going to be tasting three margarita pizzas. So he headed downtown. It was kind of a little mushy. Too much cheese. Oh, okay, they're having other people do it. That's smart, too. But please make Pete do this. Trick him into, le into thinking something else is good. Come on. Now armed with the findings from the taste test. Holy... Calimero, Chef. Chef Ramsay returns to Pantaleones to confront Pete with the results. Uh, I'm just, I'm gonna predict it right now. Pete's gonna be like, oh, you hired these people. Oh, they're fake. They were just there for you. Something like that. One thing that is very clear, I think, Pete, you have overestimated how good your pizza is. I don't think you've ever compared it to what's happening in Denver right now. So, after my disappointing lunch yesterday, I did a little research in Denver. How about all of you stand up and come and stand over here, please? Yep. And here it comes. Pete, it's now time to really find out how good your pizzas are. Three pizzas in front of me. A, B, C. A is from one of the best restaurants in town. B is your pizza. And C is a store-bought local frozen pizza. What's fucking hilarious is, is if I was in that line, I bet you I would have chose the fucking microwavable pizza like a little fool. You know, some store-bought pizzas are pretty fucking tasty, though. Time to put your pizza to the test. That's right, your pizza's B. 
Which was your favorite? I liked A. I'd say A. I like B A because it was thin. And your least favorite? B B B. Why B? Soggy on the crust. Way too much cheese. It overwhelmed everything else. It felt my heart stop. It was too much. Too, too much, much on the crust. The crust was soggy. It was just not very good. Okay, Pete. Here's the results in a nutshell. 75% of our taste testers preferred Pizza A from the top local Italian restaurants. In second place, with 15% of the votes, was a store-bought frozen pizza. And in third and last position was yours, with 10% only of the votes. Yours was the least favorite. You're actually beaten by a store-bought frozen pizza. Get the message? Wow. Yeah, wow. <laughs> yeah, wow. I did that. I had to make a whole fucking presentation in here like it was school to show you how bad your pizza is. How does that make you feel, Paulette? Bad, but I'm not surprised. Because I've been saying the same thing. Too much cheese, too much crust, too much everything. I've talked and talked and talked about the same things, and I don't see it changing. It's really bad. It needs to change. I think that um, in his mind, it's always more is better. I do put a lot of ingredients on. Hasn't he heard of Charmin Ultra? Less is more. <laughs> Come on, Pete. I keep saying this, but for Pete's sake, listen to them. I do. Your pizzas are dated. I am very surprised at the results of the video. I never thought in my wildest dreams that the people of Denver will pick a frozen pizza over my pizza. I'm also surprised that like Gordon Ramsay hasn't somehow thrown that in there, like to save this restaurant for Pete's sake. I'd love that. You have got to understand. You are miles away from serving Denver's best pizza. That 1991 review behind me is no longer valid. We're in a different era. You've taken the praise of a local critic, it's gone to your head, and you have locked in what they said was good, and you've kept doing it for nearly 30 years. That's pretty funny. One local critic made this guy be like, best pizza in Denver. This one dude agrees, so best pizza in Denver. That's all I have to say about it. Don't ever ask me again. Can you three just give me two minutes and get some fresh air outside? Because this is important. Fucking Pete's farting again, isn't he? God, uh, yeah. Every time someone gets all nervous in here, Pete starts farting and Gordon Ramsay needs fresh air. Because this is... We need to air out this building. Fuck. I've got one very important question for you. Am I willing to change? That's the one. No. Oh, uh, whoa. Did that surprise any of you? <laughs> this fucking old fart. You realize, like, how embarrassing it's been the last three years to work for other people while we have a restaurant? Oh, I said that in the beginning. Now I'm sorry. <laughs> Fuck. That's all because of... Messed up. This I've been in here waiting tables, and my knees are shot. I'm not going to do it anymore, and I'm serious with you. I like how he's like, you know, it's so embarrassing having to work at another place while you own a restaurant. And she's like, you know how you think about that, Dad? And then she's like, yeah, I've had to clean tables, and my fucking knees hurt, dude. <laughs> like, so different. I might leave here if I have to clean one more table, you little fuck. I mean, I may even leave. I am out of here. I'm actually ready to head to Texas, because I'm, I'm done. I've pulled with you. I've been your partner. You haven't always been mine, but I have been yours. Whoa. Is it, did he cheat on her? And I want you now to step up, because I don't want to lose my home and the few little things that I have. I like you and your few little things. I really do. I don't want you to. Pete. Are you committed? I am. You are? I am. 100%? Yes, sir. I am ready to change. I am. Damn, Gordon Ramsay just saved this family. He was just... No, I can't change. And now he's like, mm, okay. In fact, I'm a little open to change, I guess. Can you? Yes. Oh, I hope so. Can you? You're not just saying that because we threatened to quit, right? Okay. Pete is a creature of habit, and it's going to be hard for him to change and break habits. I want to see it. You want to see it? You keep talking about it. You want to see it? <laughs> With one, two, three generations, 
working in this business. How important is that for you? Very. Very. So let me tell you something about a unique Italian restaurant. It's in New York. It's called Rayo's. They have been serving quality food since 1896. Wow. 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 And every single night, it is packed. You cannot get in there. Josh, how does that sound? That's my dream. Do you know what? I'd love to take you to Rayo's. Unfortunately, it's a little far from here. But in 2006, they opened up in Vegas. And I can take you both to Vegas. He was just ready to lose all his employees. Now we're all going to Vegas? What a fucking turn of events. Jesus. That is exactly what all three of us are doing tonight. Rayo's is at Caesars. Little Caesars? Is this a sponsored bit? <laughs> My good friends at Caesars have sent their private plane. Damn, is it called the Pizza Mobile? Wheels up in Ooh. half an hour. <laughs> what the f is going on? <laughs> What are you doing to me? <laughs> I want to take you for dinner. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I can't even think right now. Come on, this is going to be a blast. Are you Go kidding? I'm ready to go to Vegas with Chef Ramsay and my son, of course. Oh, Paulette doesn't get to go? I heard him say two. I thought it was them and the son was staying back. Why doesn't she get to go? Bye. See ya. <laughs> She's like, bye. Have a good time in Vegas. I'm going to fuck all your friends. <laughs> Frankie, how are you, sir? Chef Courtney, how are you, bro? Good, good to see you. Good to see you. Now that guy looks like he knows how to make pizza. Thank you, too. Thank you so much for Absolutely. Us. This is Pete. I imagine he was like, Pete? Oh my god, this is Pete? This guy makes the best pizza in Denver, Gordon. Pete, <laughs> Craig Pellegrino. Welcome to Rayo. Thank you. Come on, let's go into our dining room. Let's go. Four generations in your family? It's, I'm the fourth generation. Can you give a little insight in terms of how... Absolutely. How this happened. Um, well, the first thing is we're all open to change, so that really helped us out. I grew up under the tutelage of my father, and I had to learn how to really become open-minded and willing to communicate mm -hmm. in a constructive way. For real, <laughs> that really did help. And if you have that strong relationship and care for one another, mm -hmm. that will only reflect in your business. And who's really going to pick up on that are your guests. If there was a strong key message to Josh stepping up to the plate, what would it be? Truthfully, the most important thing is the relationship you have with your dad. I agree with Frank that the most important relationship is with my father. And I hope my father can see with working together how successful we can become. Frank has some good information here for them. I just don't know if... Pete's gonna listen to him or not. I don't think he will though. And while they have been away, Chef Ramsay gave the green light to his team to overhaul the decor of this outdated restaurant. Ooh, remodeling time. Let's hope they do something neat because that's this place looked like a fucking garbage can to be honest. That's funny, he just brought them to Vegas because he's like, fuck, we need a couple days to fucking clean this place up. Get them over to Vegas, put them in Caesar's Palace. Hire this guy, pretend he's a good chef. <laughs> Make him give him some lessons. Just tell, have him tell them everything I've been saying in just like a little bit of a different order. Wow. Beautiful. Oh so my god. Epic. Wow, this is gorgeous. It is amazing. Oh, I like that with all the art and everything. That's real. Oh my god, he's <laughs> Oh my god, he's crying. Oh, this is gorgeous. It is amazing. Gone is that depressing, tacky look of the 80s. We have completely transformed this gorgeous little room. It is really tiny, but I uh, I like it. It's a restaurant of today. It's got that fresh contemporary feel. Wow. Is it, you okay? Yeah. Look. Is it amazing? It is amazing. I love how he always makes them like a giant sign with their name on it. I don't know why that always just impresses me. We tore down that dated paneling, which was hideous. We added fresh coats of paint, black and white, to give that really nice contemporary vibe. Oh my lord. <laughs> We've added new cool signs to create that nice, fun, modern, hip vibe. Gone of those 25 year old reviews and that scary clown <laughs> everybody hated. <laughs> we have pictures of Italy. Amen. Shouldn't they have like pictures of Greece since the guy's from Greece? I mean, I get it, Italy with the pizza and shit, just like I feel like Greece for that guy would be like respectful. Our new restaurant looks amazing. To have a hip New York vibe here in Denver, 
is really cool. And it's new, but the history's still here. Come here, you man. <laughs> That guy is really fucking lucky that Gordon Ramsay is such a nice guy. He was fucking Captain Dildo the entire time. Gordon Ramsay brought him to Vegas, made his restaurant better, forced him to take some change into his life. Fuck. Static about my new restaurant. I'm overwhelmed. Beautiful. Is this awesome or what? This is sweet. It's the best day in history of Ponte Leones, hands down. Yeah, but the, the thing is, how's the pizza going to be for now on, though? I just want a quick word with all four of you outside. Let's go. He brings him outside. The whole fucking building gets bulldozed. <laughs> He's like, there's a lesson. Nice things don't last. It has been a day of surprises for the family, and Chef Ramsay has one more. Just stay there two seconds, OK? OK. That is sure to increase profits. OK. <laughs> oh, smart. Make them do delivery. I, I get it. Should have got them a car shaped like a pizza, but that works too. Okay, we're committed. We're committed. That is your new delivery van, donated by my friends at 1 800 Charity Cars. Oh, but who's going to get their driver's license? Oh. It's going to let everybody know, not just in the neighborhood, but in the city, that you have the best pizza and you deliver. Deliver. Yeah, he just fucking, Gordon Ramsay just made all this happen. I mean, I know he always does, but legit, just forced all this to happen. Coming up. Oh, I want to give up. It's relaunch night, and everything is on the line. What the hell are you guys doing? Will Pete and Josh get their act? Whoa, everything, see, what, what happened? Everyone's all happy, you guys got a car, the place is nice. Fucking breaking bugs and you're yelling? Pete, how long for 16? What's 16? 16 is already gone. Josh, is this done or what? I don't know. I don't know what, what happened. Although dinner service has just begun, Pete is already overwhelmed with orders. Where's the 16, damn it? Bubba, you're not talking to me, man, and we're missing times here. And is not communicating effectively with Josh. I don't even know where the f we are. Listen, I want some harmony in here a little bit, yeah? The father and son team are confusing each other, and almost no food has left the kitchen. The linguine a la vodka, right? Where's the linguine a la vodka? I don't have that. Where's the linguine a la vodka? Uh, not even started. Really? What the hell are you guys doing? Put the thing out. Whatever, man. Stop! You, you, come here. Urgently, now. We are now just going so far backwards. Have we come this far now to give up? No. Table 16, this hasn't gone. When a ticket's gone, it gets spiked. Yes, chef. That's a really good point. How come no one else fucking said that to him? He's like, where is it? It was already gone. It's like, no, dude, the fucking, there's no hole in this paper. It hasn't gone. Right. I have to take a breath and start doing a ticket at a time. Table 16, lasagna, linguine, vodka, Josh. To eat Josh, too? Holy shit. Right now. Nice. Take your time. What's going next? Then I need a neck plate parmesan and small mid lovers. Okay. Get your systems going. Come on, you can do it. It appears as though Chef Ramsay's pep talk has done the trick. You know, it, his pep talks usually do do the trick at this point in the episode. Both Pete and Josh are clearly more focused. Table 16! They are Fuck, table 16 is gonna be really hungry. Like, nothing is coming on time. I love that pizza. This is so good. This is fantastic. Oh, it's delicious. Really? Okay, wow. That's, that's not the audience reaction I thought we were gonna get. Table 3, Capellini eggplant parmesan. Eggplant parm, Capellini heart. All right, that's my boy. You got that small Bianca? And then uh, we're done. Yeah. Small Bianca and we're done. I never thought I'd see Pete change. I think he's more open to listening and working with his family. I'm really proud of him, very much so. Oh, he's definitely more open after that Vegas trip. That's for sure, dude. Tonight, we had a rocky time in the kitchen, but we dealt with it. You now have a plan. Pick up the reins and run with it. All right, look after yourself. Yeah? Absolutely. Um, dig in there. Bye, darling. I love you, Chef. <laughs> Thank you so much. Chef Ramsey really inspired us. Look after your boys. I will. And hopefully Pete and Josh can do even better and take it to the next level. I've got to go. Someone else again. Chef Ramsey is a remarkable, remarkable man. I am grateful and thankful to him for coming here and opening my eyes. Wow, that's a big change to what you were saying in the beginning of the episode. This man's really grown. I think maybe they did bang in Vegas. I love you, you old Brit. 
In all my years of doing Kitchen Nightmares, I don't think I've ever met a more lovable character than Pete. Wow. I, I don't know if I would say lovable is what I would... I don't know if that's how I would describe Pete at all, but okay. Unfortunately, when I first arrived, his heart may have been in the right place, but his head certainly wasn't. And for almost 30 years, the guy was doing the same thing every day, despite his business going downhill. But I am truly honored to have helped this wonderful, appreciative man to finally see the light. For Pete's sake, I sincerely hope that the Pantiones continues to be successful for generations to come. Thank you, Gordon. Thank you for finally saying that. Jesus Christ, I've been waiting the whole episode for you to say, for Pete's sake. And on that note, let's look up an update to the... What's this called again? Let's look up an update to Pantaleon. In December 2013, Pete told local press that he was still struggling as the new menu had lost some regular customers and the episode was yet to air. That's kind of scary. Oh, interesting. He claims that there was some sabotage during the relaunch scenes to make for better television. After the episode aired, business improved by 70% at the restaurant. They still remained closed on Sundays and did not add delivery service until 2017. As far as I could tell, I, maybe they're still open. I, this was last updated on March 2023, so I guess they're still around. Cool. Everybody go to Pantaleon's and try their pizza and see if it's the best pizza in Denver, I guess. Alright, well that's gonna do it for this video. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe or I may have to send Gordon Ramsay over to your house and he's gonna criticize your kitchen so if you don't want that to happen then you better like and subscribe to this video okay <laughs>